Hello, and thank you so much for being here. I wanted to make this video for those of you who feel like you'd like to have an apology and you're just not getting it. So um, I have timestamps underneath this video. Uh, so, you know, if something doesn't pertain to you, just skip to something that does. And hopefully this will be heart healing for you to hear. So take this all in as if you are listening to the person who owes this to you. And I'll do a blessing at the end to help with any healing that needs to happen. Okay. <sighs> My deepest apologies. You were such a bright light at work every day and I couldn't stand it. I was so envious of your great attitude, hard work, effortlessly getting your work done in your own unique, powerful way. I would put you down, tell you it's not enough, and slander your name, keeping you from positions and pay I knew you really needed. I can't believe you so quietly endured it all. I deserved a slap in the face, honestly. I deserved you reporting me to the higher-ups. I deserve to be made fun of like I made fun of you. I know now, as I knew then, you were the one in the right, and you were the one being authentic, and I, well, I was just jealous. If you were in my position with the proper training, I knew you'd be far better than me at this job, and I couldn't stand it. I just hope you moved on, knowing your worth somewhere where you could actually be appreciated for the exceptional person you are. I hope someone's listening to all your great ideas, your streamlined processes, and the way you can make anything and everything more effective and smooth. The truth is, you're a genius. I can't say I'm sorry enough for being a stumbling block to your success. I do hope you, today, have your head held high and are proud of the person you've become. And I could see it then, and I'm sure I'd see it now. You really stand out. You are a bright star and the whole world would be lucky to see it. I am so sorry, my beautiful friend. How could I have done that to you? After all we'd been through, after all we'd overcome, I had the most delightful friendship of my life and I threw it all away for something so stupid. There isn't a victory or defeat that goes by without me wishing you were here with me, helping to support or celebrate my life with me. I've gone through such a transformation you may not even recognize me, and it's all due to the things that went down between us. I hope that counts for something. I know you'll probably never forgive me, but I do hope you think of me with a smile, not remembering the bad, but remembering the way we were and how magical it was. Because I do. And it's changed me. I just hope you're blissed with a friend so much better than me today. And I'm so sorry if I reinforced your biggest fears of what a person is capable of. I never thought how this would ever affect you or make you jaded or anything. I just hope if any long-term negativity came from my actions, that they be erased and replaced with your dreams come true far beyond your wildest imagination. Because you deserve it. And I love you. So you finally caught on to me. I just want to say I'm sorry. God's made it painfully obvious to me what a mistake it was for me to betray you in that way. I never want to do black magic again, I swear. My life is turned upside down, inside out, and I know it's because of the deliberate pain I caused you. How could I have been so selfish? How could I be so mean? How did I go so far down the slippery slope I forgot who I am? and any compassion I had for my very own. I can't imagine how this made you feel after you had been so kind, so respectful, so giving, so sacrificial. It just rubbed in my face how horrible a person I was and gutted me after all I'd done to you for you to just keep bouncing back in love. How does someone do that? It just angered me. I am so sorry I let myself go so far and not just take the time and energy to sit with myself and heal it. I just had to blame you. I just had to blame everybody, anyone. But you were the most willing to give me the time of day and were so forgiving and unassuming. I'm so sorry. I can't imagine you forgiving me after everything, but I do hope I haven't held you back. 
and I'm going to do the right thing now and focus on me. I don't want to be a victim anymore. I'm tired of being a crybaby. I'm tired of being the victim. You never did anything to deserve this, but be kind. I cringe to think of all the pain I've caused. Again, I am so sorry. Please accept my apology. I am now leaving you in peace and hope you have such a better life going forward without all my wicked intentions, spells, and curses. I just feel so childish. I also want to start anew treating my loved ones right. Forgiving, loving, taking responsibility. And I hope one day you'll hear something about me and my life that will make you swell with pride. If you do, please know that was what you did. You will always hold a very special place in my heart. And I'm glad you had the guts to leave. Or I was a selfish jerk. And I'm so terribly sorry for the ridicule and mockery. I was such a child. Oh man, have I rehearsed what I would say to you over and over. But you, what do you say to someone you've stolen a dearly loved one from? I don't have the words. I've wanted you to beat me, scream at me, keep me in jail forever, flog me every single day over this. There's been no justice because I cannot bring your loved one back. And I can't tell you how sorry I am for that fact. I have made up so many excuses till I ran out altogether. I guess it was just the hand that was dealt and we both will feel the effects of this forever. I do hope you aren't blaming yourself because that would kill me. I know we tend to do that to ourselves. I do want to honor this by learning a valuable lesson from it and maybe even helping others. I just hope you feel some peace knowing that I suffer and boy, do I suffer. But I am also making amends within so I can best serve the situation. I am so very deeply sorry for your loss. Wow, my giant ego and gullibility are smacking me in the face about now as I see you are right. You were all along and I and all my stubbornness attacked, mocked, and ridiculed you to others to make myself that smart one and you stupid. And all because I was so scared to see it and ran straight to my ego for consolation. Oh boy, is that the wrong place to go? <laughs> well, that was a dead end, leading me right to a mirror. I hope you can forgive me, and I hate myself for the way I treated you, and for being so damn closed-minded despite all the evidence being right in front of my face. I refused. I dug my heels in. I asked others to join me in my stance, all to make you and your truth so small it would disappear and I could stay in my denial. I honestly felt that if I could have so many more people believing in it with me, surely we could not end up wrong. But we have. Oh, how we have. And I'm so utterly embarrassed. I am so sorry. I don't expect you to be there for me, but if you can find it in your heart to forgive me, I could sure use an honest person in my life telling me like it is to help me keep on track and never go off the trail of truth again. Thank you so much for showing me the way. I am so sorry I couldn't see your love. I listened to others' lies and was led astray. I became confused. My ego also got in the way trying to prove it was the best way if I just stay away. But I've kept coming back to myself and each time more clear. And today, just more embarrassed for how much I have hurt you all this time. All these things I felt were your fault were just as much my own. And I'm so mad at myself for the way I've pushed and kept you away by my own thinking and selfishness. I hope you can forgive me and I hope we can make amends in time. I do wish the very best for you now, and I always, always will. If I had only known the you I would become someday. If I just knew all that I know now, but you know what? We had to get duped. We had to rebel. We had to act shitty. We had to be angry, even at ourselves sometimes. But I do feel bad for making it so hard on you and scaring you half to death running from the very things that could heal you. I betrayed you. I hated you. I beat you up. I made you out to be the bad guy. 
I made you do things and take things into your body that would keep you numb, dumb, and handicapped, pretending it was keeping pain at bay when it was actually putting off the good stuff in life. And for that, I am so sorry. I guess there were no shortcuts from here to there. But if I could say one thing to you now, it would be, we finally see our power, yes? We truly are special. And we had it all along. We just didn't know it yet. So please, enjoy the harvest of a very long battle of listening to demons and, enjoying the pro and enjoy the prosperity of a healed, open, and expansive heart and future you are stepping into now. You deserve it all, every bit, and can teach others how to do it, how to overcome all the trauma, tears, heartache, and lack in all its forms. We are the phoenix rising from the ashes, and you know what? I am so proud of you. You've come a long way, baby, and we got this. You got this. So I, again, am so sorry and so grateful you exist, grateful you made it, and grateful to know you and to love you like I do, and I love you oh so much, me. What can I say? I failed you. I made so many promises and never came through for you. I am so ashamed. I have no excuse worth saying. I made myself into a victim of my circumstances, although your voice in my head was telling me to stand up and fight for us. I just couldn't do it. I was too scared. Then I would puff myself up and say I didn't need you and paraded my karmic relationship for the whole world to see as if we were happy. And you know what? Your stupid sweet face and voice have kept me distracted the entire time calling me out on my bullshit, lying to myself and everyone else. You are the one that I love. You always will be. But I know I've ruined the best thing that could have ever happened to me and I cannot expect you to forgive me. I am just so sorry for being such a juvenile that I couldn't just let you know what was going on, apologize, and make things up to you, or at least make amends. Instead, I keep hiding, scared of the consequences, and have no trust in God. I don't know how you've done it. I've been watching you doing everything from your, for yourself like a true warrior, while my karmic whines and cries over silly things being completely superficial. She honestly disgusts me. I compare her to you all the time, and it's becoming painfully obvious to me I got duped, and I'm now suffering through my wrong decision. I'm so sorry for all the pain I've caused, for leaving you all alone to fend for yourself through these scary times. I'm sorry I haven't been there for you, listening to you, showing care and concern. I just stayed silent and cowardly. I'm so angry at myself, I can't bear to even look at you and see those tears stream down that precious face. Just know I pray for you and your happiness. I hope God will make up for everything I've put you through times 100. Between me putting black magic on you so you wouldn't move on, how selfish can I be? Becoming aware my karmic was putting black magic on you too? I can't even imagine what that entailed, but I hate her for it. Along with all the abuse and neglect, staying silent, knowing you were drowning in the vast ocean of your love for me while I've been sailing around you in this empty, shallow, showy yacht, thinking I'm really something while keeping an eye on you all the while. I can't tell you how sorry I am. I just can't. And I don't deserve any forgiveness or for you to even look my way. I just hope for retribution to set this all straight. All of it deserved. Please know, although I've been terrible at showing it, I love you more than you could possibly know, and you've been the inspiration behind all that I do. You are the most amazing person I've ever met, and no one will ever compare to you. I wish I hadn't treated you that way. I just had so much going on in my life. I was overwhelmed, and you became the easy punching bag, unfortunately. I'm so sorry I let that happen and let my ego overcome me. Deep down at our core, I know we're the same, you and I, with all the struggles of life, and that we both are doing our very best to make the most of our circumstances. I should not have judged you. I should have listened. I should not have assumed. I should have asked questions and even tried to make a friend out of you. 
I think that would have been so much more satisfying. <laughs> and you and I would be allies against evil today. I'm sure of it. Instead, I caused further division, unsafety, and fear in you. The very neighbor, sweet Yeshua, would say to treat as well as I treat myself. Who, do, who did I think I was? How can I have lashed out at you like that? <sighs> I have so much healing to do, but I appreciate your kindness and, and any forgiveness you can muster for allowing evil to influence me like it did. I'm just so embarrassed. I thought my plan was masterful. I thought I could defy God himself. Now, upon reflection, I see I made myself vulnerable to evil when I was young. The demons just whispered in my ears, breaking me down one trauma after another until one day I'd been taken over completely and never looked back. I was on a path of destruction, annihilation, and had a massive ego. The thing I didn't realize is it was a path to my own devastation and demise. Oops. Boy. I really thought I was something and I was so cocky. Do I feel stupid now? I knew my time was coming to an end, so I fought you and others like you oh so hard. But now, as my ultimate masterpiece comes tumbling down all around us, I have to say I am so disappointed at my stupidity, my arrogance, and I'm infinitely sorry for trying to make someone so incredible, blissed, majestic, and mighty feel so inferior and insignificant when you so obviously were favored by God all along, and I know I will soon meet my maker. I poisoned you. I frightened you. I turned your family on you. I even attempted to kill you and those close to you, even succeeded in some cases. I do not even ask for your forgiveness. How can such a thing be forgiven? I now just want you to have all I've stolen from you. Time, health, resources, youthfulness, joy, the right to have or feel at peace, safe, and build an enjoyable life, however you want that to be. Regret fills my returning heart as I dread my end. I know I will have to feel all the pain I've caused you. And I'm going to make sure that you are avenged. I will make this right. For every drop of blood shed, DNA tampered with, stolen money, joyful moment, dampered, unfair law, misunderstanding, uncertainty, tyranny, wickedness, unsettledness, any sickness. I wish it all to be restored and then some. Please accept my apology, truly, in spirit. I will help make certain someone like me is never able to cause this kind of horrific damage again. Mark my words. You will see me again, but I will be on the side of the angels to be God's greatest helper if he will have me. Please accept my most extravagant apologies. You deserve to be happy, and I will see to what you are from the other side. Okay, so let's do a light language blessing to help your healing heart. Oh, Hawa awa na tei i wu a ai sa le. All right, have yourself a beautiful day. Hope this helped, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.